Yes, welcome uh, everyone here. And of course, uh, we just finished our game, of course, between the Bendigo Spirit and the Melbourne Burns. Unfortunately, fell short by a point, but we had, uh, of course, uh, well, a three point uh, buzzer beater at the end, of course, and that is, of course, our player sponsor, because uh, Monique Conti, he joins right now from the Deacon Melbourne Burns and one of our player sponsors here on Smash FM. Thanks, uh, Monique, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Firstly, let's talk a bit about a little bit about the game. Uh, you got the steal towards the end of that game tonight. What was your feelings when you, uh, I guess, what was your thought process? Um, well, I was told to when I got on the court, you know, to pressure the ball and, um, yeah, just keep the full court pressure going. So that's what I did and ended up, resulted in a steal. So um, I was lucky enough to get that and get some points on the board as well. So it was good. It, by then, it clo you just closed the margin back to four points with about 33 seconds to go. Um, I, I, I guess, what was your thoughts? Could, did you know you could actually do it? You almost got close to getting them? Yeah, I, we definitely thought we could get there in the end. Unfortunately, we did fall short, but um, we definitely stayed in it for the last 30 seconds and tried to get some stops and steals, but um, yeah, unfortunately fell short. But um, we did think, you know, we could get there in the end, so... Now, you're, she shot the three-point buzzer beater. Uh, I thought you still had a couple of seconds left in that game, but... Um, <laughs> well, um, when you got the ball, it was pretty much to shoot it and hopefully went in and uh, hopefully had time left to get the ball back. Yeah, um, it was... Well, I wasn't really aware of how much time was left afterwards, but I knew that we were down by what, four points, so just had to get a three-point shot up, and that's what happened. We got a good rebound, good kick out from Casey, and just had to shoot it, and it went in, so that was lucky enough. Unfortunately, there wasn't any time left, but um, it was good to finally you know, get it in and close the margin to only one point in the end, so that was good. Now, Guy Malloy gave you, a lot, uh, I guess, a lot of court time in the last couple of weeks, um, especially... And it's re you really revamped that um, s that really bench uh, in for the Boomers in the second half of the season. Um, what was your thoughts on how you played, especially in the second half of the season? Um, I definitely thought, you know, um, I got my confidence up a bit more and, you know, getting more court time, you get, you know, a better feel of the game and you get used to it and the confidence just grows and grows. So the more time I get on the court... Um, you know, the, the more confident I get, that's really the main thing. So I just focused on, you know, doing my job, what he tells me to do when I get on. I just got to focus on doing that and, yeah. Now, being part of the Deacon Melbourne Boomers uh, this year, in your first year in the WNBL, how have you found it? My first year at the Boomers? Um, definitely one I'll never forget. It's been a really good journey, a really good season this year. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, you know, make finals, get, a, get more wins, but... You know, that's, it's always, you know, it's been a really good season and to come into, you know, my first WNBL team and be so welcomed by the team and the family and just really be, feel a part of it and with the atmosphere, you know, the fans all getting around the whole team and the Boomers family. So, yeah, I just feel, you know, I felt really welcomed and I felt like I fit, I fitted in. So that was definitely a big bonus. Now, you played under two amazing coaches. Um... Sapphire's uh, coach, obviously, Shannon Seabong, who had a, a two years, a great two years with Sydney Uni uh, past couple of years, and obviously now Guy Malloy with the Deacon Boomers. Tell us about the experience of being under those two coaches. Oh, it's definitely, you know, a different coaching style from either end, but um, they've, they've, it's definitely something different and something I'll never forget, you know, coaching, uh, being coached under Shannon and winning a gold medal, that was amazing and Playing in that sort of team, you know, it's something different to playing a WNBL team, but of course, playing under Guy as well was also something different in a different um, coaching style and all that sort of stuff. But um, I guess, you know, um, yeah, just adapting to different coaching styles is pretty challenging, but, you know, just got to get used to it. And they're both pretty excellent, they're both pretty excellent coaches, so that was good for me. Absolutely. And tell us a bit about your basketball career. Where did it all start? Because I know, I know you're good at both sports, basketball and AFL, uh, but tell us uh, how special of, um, and how you got involved in the sport. In basketball? Yeah. Um, well, I started playing when I was about five years old because my brother played and I just wanted to copy everything he did, of course, <laughs> as younger siblings do. So I just got into that and um, started at domestic level for Aberfeldy and just... Um, 
tried out for a rep team, made the first team and just went on from there and had some good coaches along the way, which really kept me in it. Like Nikki Simpson was my first rep coach. And then, you know, Ray Tomlinson and all the coaches like, along the way, that's helped me out, helped me make state teams and perform well, perform well there, as, there as well. So, um, yeah, it just keeps going up. So hopefully it continues that way. And what does <coughs> sport of basketball mean to you? Oh, tough question. Um, well, it means everything to me because it is basically my life at the moment and training basically every day, maybe twice a day, depends. But um, basketball is to everything to me and, um, yeah, it's pretty special in my life. So. Now, uh, you, you, obviously, you gr- you're amazing both sports, basketball and AFL. What's your future ambitions in the sport of basketball? <laughs> um my future ambitions well I want to play another season of WNBL and um, I would like to go to college and um, yeah study over there as well and just see where it takes me really I'm not really 100% sure in the in the far future but um yeah just see where it takes me really now and one final one before I let you go now obviously I don't want to hype myself up on this one but I'm going to um how special to have a, a I guess a play sponsor like us um, sponsoring you throughout the whole year. Oh, it's definitely very special to know that someone's there supporting me along the way, along my journey of the WNBL season. So it's definitely very special to have that. So thank you. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. No worries. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, great game tonight. Uh, you had seven points in tonight's game, oh, and really? including the three-point buzzer beater um, in there. Best of luck wherever basketball takes you, and hopefully we get to see you. Uh, Hopefully, maybe in the Big V, or I know you probably think about Siebel for, Siebel, the Melbourne, yeah. for the Melbourne Tigers. And best of luck with that, Tasha. And hopefully, we'll get to see you back here in the Boomers uh, in season 2017 18. Thanks for having me.